just started on this and I figured it'd be good to get a video on what it uh, entails to do the e-fans on a truck from start to finish. So this is a 03 Tahoe. It has the larger radiator. There's two radiators, one that's thin. I'm sorry, that's a little bit not as wide. This one is 36 inches because it has the dual setups and it's a Yukon. So it probably has that. Um, I just started, so I'll go through what I did. I removed the cold air intake, the intake, just one screw here at the throttle body. Went ahead and removed that. The fan shroud is held on by four push pins here, 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 which I reuse, which I use this. Worked great for that. There are two 10 millimeter bolts here and here. Remove that, this top piece comes out. Then you're left with the clutch fans gonna be sitting like this in there. And that, I simply took this adjustable wrench, cause I didn't have a, some reason at the house, I don't have a clutch removal tool. And anyways, of course, if you just try to turn it, it's going to um, spin the whole motor over. So what I did is, trusty hammer, tapped it um, a couple times, broke light right loose. It, do, it does look like that's been replaced at some point in its life. So it's probably not as bad as if you had a brand, you know, a truck that had 300,000 miles on it and the original one. But anyways, so I've removed the throttle body again, the throttle body intake, I'm sorry, left the throttle body on. The two tins here, the four push pins, disconnected the battery as you have to pin some things into the ECM. And I disconnected the, um, or took off the nut here because the harness gets power from here to power the fans. Next, I'm going to remove the computer, which it just has two of these clips. You remove that, it comes on out, and then it has a seven millimeters up here. I'll show you on that how to get it out as well. All right, just pop this up with a screwdriver. Computer will come right out. And at this point, you will see on the back, to get the plugs off, you have to remove these. These are sevens, I'm pretty sure. Um, but let me try this eight here, just while I'm here. Yep, so seven millimeter, and then these pull off, which we'll go ahead and pull those off. And then we'll go ahead and install the fans before we wire, or no, I'm sorry. Then we'll go ahead and pin everything up and I will do a tune on the computer, which you have to have a bench set up or tune it in the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and tune it out of the vehicle as you have a bench rig. This car is known for not taking tunes well in the vehicle and you have to pin a couple things anyway. So it's easier to just do it while it's out. All right, I went ahead and pulled the computer. And like I was saying, uh, this one doesn't like to tune in the vehicle sometimes. And I had to have it out to repin the fans into the harness so we have this set up here you will need of course hp tuners for this so you may have to have someone do this portion for you um, but as you can see all the fan diagnostics and uh, information is in on this and we are going to go ahead and program this in for him and this will allow him to have the fans operating just as if it was stock on his truck then after this is done, we're going to get the harness and the fans, uh, start installing the harness, put the fans in, and reinstall the computer. I got this harness from Michigan Motorsports. They said the quality is a little better than what you get normally from like the Amazon type deals. Uh, I did send a message to LS1 fans who I'd done previously with, but I didn't get a reply and this guy wanted to get his stuff done. So the connectors and all look pretty good. Um, sizing of the wires is not bad and uh, the relays are your standard 40 amp type deals um, same kind that I had on mine from LS1 uh, fans actually I'm not commenting on the wiring size or quality but the fan size is the same as you can see we're using the factory uh, 05 or 6 up truck fan harness and the fans in here and since I'm trying to work and not just film I will go ahead and install the harness and then show 
where the harness goes into the factory plug. I've already tuned the computer and then just sort of catch you up once that is done. All right, that was a little bit more work than I was thinking it was gonna be. These were uh, zip tied on, so that shows somebody's been in there. But anyways, these clips here, uh, these are held on by these clips on the end. And basically, if you put some upward force on these tabs on the side and then squeeze this together, it'll come out. These, like I said, were a little bit harder than normal. But so anyways, squeeze on these two ends, put a little bit of upward force on the sides, and then they will pop out. Just be careful. You don't want to break them. And it's, you know, weather shielding for your connectors. All right. So now you have to pin in the two wires into these the blue connector um, pin 42 which is right there the second one is going to get this white wire so where you see there's a stop in there little plug you're gonna have to get that out but the way you remove these is much easier it's got a small clip on that side you just push in the bottom push in sorry for the fuzzy right there push in at the bottom here and then this side will pull up do the same for the bottom in here. Use like a small pick and then pull this side up and then you'll have full access to this. There's no reason to remove this one on that one is you're only remove you're only pinning one in the blue connector. All right. On this, it's in its pin 42. The blue connector 42 it goes to white wire there. It's in all the way. I put the blue connector back on sorry for the poor filming guys i'm just trying to help out as i can but anyways uh that's on now and then the other connector the green or red on some cars would be pin 33 for the green wire which i'll show you that one here 33 right between those two green wires there um, the other thing that i found out is that um, yellow like stopper, you know, for get water, it's easier pushed out from the other side and broken through with the uh, pin. But anyways, and uh, so there's 33. We're gonna pull this out, pull this green connector off, which has got the clips just like the blue one. One down here, you just push it in at the bottom and then pop this out. And then same thing on this side, push in at the, that slit, that slit in there. There, that slit, you see where it's locked at the bottom? Push it in right at the bottom right there towards the uh, uh, metal and push it in and then it'll pop right off. And we'll put the other one in and then put this back in. All right, so I have this back in. Uh, these just clipped back in. And then the screws, of course, the two seven millimeters. Put them in. The computer just goes in at the bottom fits right in the hole and then this is the one safety clip we had to remove earlier to pop it on or off as you can tell it's locked back down computer is tight and then since the relays are right here and there was already a hole in this cover I just mounted the three relays um, right here on the ECM cover so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together I haven't put the ground down yet because I don't know where it's gonna go um, as far as length wise I want to make sure we have good length it doesn't top it uh, if I have to extend it or something to get a good ground I will so I'm gonna put this back in and then find a ground for this and it's onto the fence all right so <clears throat> I've got everything routed pretty good how I want it um, gonna have to fix these but no big deal I was just trying to get everything mounted anyways uh, the fans are great meaning there's already slots in this radiator at least um, for the fan to sit there and here right there and then here the uh, bolt holes there's already threaded holes in the body on this one this being an 03 tahoe i put these inserts here to for vibration that was came with the kit i got from uh, amazon and then i found some uh, bolts that i had and gonna tighten these up and then reroute the uh, fan wiring fix this over here and I'm glad I did it that way because I don't know where I'm going to put the ground. The ground is a little short 
on this one. So as soon as I get this mounted, I'm going to temporarily hook up the grounds, test it, and then find a permanent spot for the grounds. All right, so first thing with the kit I sort of not liked that worked. Um, so anyways, the ground wire was nowhere near long enough to fit anywhere I like. There was a hole down here I was gonna try to use in the frame. It just didn't work good, it was too tight. So I extended it with wire. I'm going to, of course, uh, cover this with um, black so that if anybody else works on the truck, they will know and had to extend the wire. I did use a, a thicker wire and I used a weather tight connector that I've already got against there so we shouldn't have any uh, vibration or water issues. And then I'm also gonna cover it with this as well. And then put um, a black covering on it as well to further let you know that, hey, it's a ground just in case. All right, so tuck this up and then I will put the fuses in here after I reconnect the battery. I always take the fuses out when you're working on things. That way, in case you have something wrong, it won't short something out or pop your fuses or anything of that nature. All right, just crank the truck. About 180 degree intake uh, coolant temp. Fans are off. Put the fuses back in here and it has got power. So now we're gonna go into the scanner and just command the fans on one at a time to make sure all the wiring is correct. If that works, then everything else will automatically, you know, populate and work correctly. So, if you have that, I'm sure you probably, if you have uh, HP tuners, go into vehicle controls and special functions. I think it's system, fans, and here you go. Fan one. See if the other one works. Yeah, coolant temp's only 151, so it shouldn't be on by itself. Okay. Fans are off. Fan two on. So it looks like fan one is both on low, fan two is the one on high. So that is great. And now we're gonna turn them both off and turn the air conditioning on as a final test. And then I'll let it get up to temp just because I like to make sure all is good. But here, let's go ahead and put it down to where it should. Uh, turn the fans on just due to the AC pressure. If his air conditioning works, I didn't think about that either. Let's see. Okay. Got the little air conditioning is on. Is it working? That's not something I checked doing on this job today and it looks like his air conditioning is in fact not working so that's probably why that is not working what it does with the fans is it uses the pressure from the AC to trigger the fans coming on and off I will check that to make sure I did that in the tune but yeah other than that uh, it looks good I'm gonna get it up to operating temp and make sure it cuts on then all right so figured it out when the battery was disconnected for so long, the HVAC got messed up. So really quick, dirty, let it run for a few minutes, then turn it off. Undo this 10 amp fuse right here above the 25, right here, and leave it out for one to three minutes. Then put it back in, crank it for one to three minutes, and just let it go through its thing, don't touch anything. And then when you turn it off, for 10 to 30 seconds 
and then crank it back, it will work. So AC is working now. The fans, it's still below um, fan temp, but the AC is on. So it should be on low both, and they are both on low. So everything is working exactly as GM designed it now. I'm glad we got it through and a customer can come pick up his car. The main thing is just having someone that can knock out the tuning portion, as if you don't have HP tuners or the availability to do that, you're stuck in the water, right? Uh, so now that that is done, I checked everything, it's staying nice and cool. It's not even getting up to 190 is where it's averaging, which is about normal. Uh, it's only about an 80 degree day. So again, hope it helps somebody. Thanks for watching.